Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a few different solutions or workarounds when Windows Explorer is not responding on your computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I recommend doing would be to right-click on a blank area of the taskbar and select Task Manager. Now you want to locate underneath Windows Processes, you want to locate Windows Explorer. You can just click on a random process in here and start typing in Windows Explorer, or you can search for it up here at the top. And now you want to right-click on Windows Explorer once you have it selected or located here. And you want to select Windows Explorer and then select Restart Task up here at the top and give that a moment. And then hopefully that would have been able to resolve the issue. Something else we can look into here too, open up the search menu and type in File Explorer Options. Go ahead and open that up. And underneath the privacy option, you want to select clear. So go ahead and select clear and then apply and OK. And now open up the search menu, type in disk cleanup. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to select cleanup system files. Give that a moment to load. And then select OK, select delete files. So there are a lot of Windows Update cleanup files. It was almost like 8 or 9 gigabytes, I think. So I'm actually going to go ahead and cancel this. It might take several minutes for it to run that scan or to successfully clean those files up. So once that's done, so once the disk cleanup scan is finished, go ahead and restart your computer. And once you're back into Windows, open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, you'll come back with Command Prompt. Right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit Enter on your keyboard to begin that scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that has concluded, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your computer.
And there you go, guys. Hopefully this pointer issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.